I've inserted here into my NES um, what is supposed to be a notoriously hard game. Um, I've played a couple of minutes of it before and um, couldn't work out what the fuck was going on. Um, the controls felt awkward and shit, but um, yeah, we'll we'll jump in and have a go. It's Ghostbusters 2. There's actually two different Ghostbusters 2 games for the NES. Um, there's this one, which I believe was probably the first one released, and there's also a title called New Ghostbusters 2, which was only released in Europe and Japan, I believe, um, which is a completely different game, and to be honest, looks a lot better than this one. It's like what? continue game. So I was dead already. I mean you got these things that you shoot out. I mean I'm not the biggest Ghostbusters fan. Um, I have seen the movies but I mean, what am I supposed to be fucking doing here? Oh I hit something extra life or something. So yeah, there's just these like shit little spiders or something crawling and then every time you try and jump up and fucking get hit by something. I'm just trying, trying to hit the Ghostbusters signs, the controls are fucking awkward. The music's good. It definitely sounds like the Ghostbusters theme tune. I'll try this again. Yeah, it's definitely uh earning its uh, reputation for me as one of the hardest uh, NES games I mean I've only played five, four, yeah five NES games and you know they all seem pretty playable apart from this one which just seems ridiculous so we've got a couple of Ghostbusters fucking symbols I, mean, I don't know whether the idea is just to get the Slimers and avoid everything else. It's fucking ridiculous. I'm not even sure whether them yellow things even touch you. Yep, I guess they do. But it's fucked up. You aim down using pressing down, but and then you aim up pressing up, but it's just fucked up because you press up and down like that and then left and right to move and it's just really awkward it's absolute shit controls I mean you know they should have just had it where all the enemies are kind of floating across within your range when you jump in that's how you shoot them this is stupid that bastard. Yeah, what's that? Oh, for fuck's sake. You're fucking shitting me. I don't remember them Ghostbusters things are actually... No, they're not live, so you just collect them. So, yeah. Um, if you're a current generation gamer looking to dip into some 8-bit gaming, um, definitely wouldn't recommend this one, it's just fucking, it's a nightmare, can't get anywhere on it. I thought, you know, you think some of the 16-bit games are hard, and then you play this, it's just crazy. Yeah, there's loads of things you can't shoot, I don't know whether it's like a, a running theme through the game that you can only shoot things the same colour as the ammo from your gun, or in this case slime I guess. But then, you know, the enemies that you can't shoot don't seem to be on the same kind of plane as you. You know, they seem to be in the background, but, you know, they can't be in the background because they still hurt you. I don't know, it's just a fucking shit game. best thing to do is pretty much just run with your gun pointing at the uh, ceiling all the time and hope for the best. Yeah, you're busted. What's the difference between like stunned and being killed? Oh, I managed to avoid that one. It's 
surprised. Ooh, we got past something. Oh dear. What's going on here? Right. So, guess we have to dodge these barricades, blockades, whatever you want to call it. Ooh, car jumps. Whoa, shit. Wasn't expecting that. I guess I have to jump over this one, do I? Oh no, I'll press the wrong button. Ooh, yeah. What's that? Mm. So why did it suddenly speed up before when I uh, pressed shoot? That didn't make sense. I'm actually really glad that I got past that first kind of bit. If this was the Xbox, I'd expect like a hundred gamer points achievement for getting past that first bit of misery. Right, ah, you bastard. Same. Is that me dead or what? Game over. We're we'll back to the start. Continue. Oh, so we can continue. Wasn't expecting that. We can continue the absolute fucking misery. Oh, so that's like a speed boost there, is it? Whoa, we've got to be quick with that bad boy. How the fuck am I supposed to get all the way over there? And then jump over that thing. That's complete rabies. That's a rabid AIDS infested dog of a game design idea type thingy. I don't know what the relevance of the Ghostbusters things are. Look, there's one on the roof. I have to do a jump and no, nope, I'll crash. I don't fucking know. There's one there again, look. No. How do you get that? You can't, surely. Music's not not great to be honest in this uh, in the actual levels. Intro music's good. Ooh, stunning sound effects. What is with the um, the NES and the fact that it kind of sometimes when you do certain things like the sprites disappear. I don't know whether that's supposed to be like some sort of explosion effect or what. Height of graphical ingenuity. What the fuck is that? Don't know, but I better not touch it because it might fucking send me to the start of the freaking game or something. Oh fuck! Oh, it's shitting me. That's ridiculous. So you do all of that just to go back to the fucking start. You're having a fucking giraffe. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> the worst thing is I don't really want to know what happens after this stage because I don't want to... I just want to keep playing this stage because while it's pretty shitty, um, it's nowhere near as horrid as the, uh, the side-scrolling bit that was on before. Well, I guess this is a side-scrolling bit. Well, oh, I, I don't even what, know what you'd call that mess that was on before. I need to hunt down new Ghostbusters too. So that game looks like it doesn't suck shit half as much as this one. i tell you what, this NES controller is really grubby. Oh, it's horrible. I feel like decapitating my hand after I finish playing. Got the climbing right! No! Fucking hell. It's got to be near the end, surely. No, another one! Oh, you bastard! I can't take any more of this. Um, so yeah, that was Ghostbusters 2. Um, Side scrolling action which is pretty damn difficult with horrid controls and some um, 
okay-ish driving sequences that are pretty damn unforgiving so uh, overall not something to dip in like I say if you're a current gen gamer uh, not something you want to go in for for a bit of quick 8-bit fix because you won't have a fun time in this game it's difficult as hell 